Hi, Lux Travelers. This was our first long haul business flight from Chicago to Abu Dhabi on Etihad Airways. The Gulf carriers are known for incredible product and service, so we were looking forward to it. Shockingly, we weren't so impressed. Keep watching, we'll tell you why. The check-in process was pretty smooth. We proceeded through security and onto the lounge. Now the issue is it was a shared lounge and there were quite a few flights that were departing at the same time. So it was pretty small space and very crowded, very difficult to find a seat, but they had some snacks and so forth, some drinks. And, and with that, we kind of headed to our gate. Fun's cleaning. It's not a new practice, it's something we did for years. We flew on the Dreamliner 787. Let's check out the layout. It's a two class configuration. You have 28 business seats. We were in seats 9E and F. And you also have 271 economy class seats. Shorty. Shorty. And tall. Long legged. Say hello. This is uh, my first time flying Etihad. Let's go. Etihad, let's see what they're about. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the amenities include this comfortable um, blanket, this amenity kit. So inside the amenity kit, you have some socks, eye mask, toothpaste and toothbrush, cologne, and hand cream. You also get a wellness kit. So that includes sanitizing gel, though we normally carry our own disinfectant wipes. We also carry our own wipes. Mask and a snood. Hey hon, let's uh, close this divider so we can see. There we go. There she is. So if you need privacy, you can close it. She's over there. <laughs> and then you have the closed section. Then you press it once more and it goes down. What's nice about Etihad is their menu choices. So this is their menu. After takeoff, you can choose your starter as well as one of their main dishes. So one of the big changes that they have is they serve on a single tray. So I have some Arabic mezze, some bread, and a vegetarian dish, um, kofta. I will put the right in there, it's hard to pronounce. So, and a mango with some gin. And Hans here, what do you have, Hans? So, um, also mezze with some prawns as well. Okay. Let's see. What type of wine is that? Cheers. Okay. What you having there, babe? French Rencou Class. Rencou Classe. Classe. <laughs> Nothing but the best. <laughs> For big, big Marv. <laughs> Snacks and sandwiches were available between meals if you get peckish. 
This is a 13 to 14 hour flight to Abu Dhabi. So we are super grateful for this live flat seat. It's very comfortable, very spacious. Here are the seat controls. Two things that are missing for me. Um, one is the mattress. They did not provide mattress. And two is pajamas. They did not provide any pajamas. For pre-arrival, they also had four main dishes along with your starter, of course. Marvin had paneer curry with paratha and I had seared cod with potatoes. Both were really nice. Almost time to land. 13 hour flight. So, how was it? Yeah, one of two legs. So, um, you know, yeah, it was long. I didn't sleep very well. So, I think I only slept three hours maybe. So, I was so jealous because every time I look over, Marvin was having like really good sleep. I sleep anywhere. <laughs> he could sleep standing up. Uh, absolutely. So, in any case, um, I'm hoping to get some rest once we get to Abu Dhabi. So, yeah. But, you know, service was, was pretty good. I mean, it's COVID time, so, you know, so there's some changes with how they serve, but still, you know, very comfortable trip. Oh, yeah. Really enjoyed it. I slept a lot. Um, obviously, because of the COVID, as Andrew said, it's. Um, service is not quite the same you don't get the full experience in terms of your meals on demand so they've altered that and they served everything on one tree What's nice about flying business class is once you get to Abu Dhabi, you have access to the lounge. So, um, you know, normally it's a nice lounge. Um, you're able to relax a little bit between your flights. Here you can even have a meal. They have a full bar. So always have some nice drinks. You can also have a shower. And there are lots of seats and they were socially distanced. Our overall experience with Etihad, um, the crew was great, really good service, the food was tasty, very nice, very comfortable seat. Here is why we weren't so impressed. We did not have dining on demand, there were no pajamas or mattress, and in the lounge while there was ample seating, there wasn't any seat where you can just lay down and have a nap. Thanks for watching guys, leave us a comment, let us know about your favorite airline and remember, love yourself, love others and gratitude for everything under the sun. One love.